I said holiness. Ukwera. Uh, it is separation. Ni ugutano kana. From other people. Eh, kubano kana aka. And be called. Ukitwa. A chosen of God. Ukitwa uwa 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 hisemoni ma. I want to fo- I want you to follow carefully. Mukuri kireneza. When God chooses you, Imana iyo ugu hisemo. You are called holy. We itwa uwera. When God chooses a table, Imana iyo hisemo imeza. The table is called holy. Yo meza icha itwa yera. When God chooses a city, Imana iyo hisemo gisagara. The city is called holy. Icho gisagara gicha itwa ichera. So the choice of God, ugu hitamo ku Imana brings holiness kuzana ukwera number 2 ichaka biri you are called the holy because you are chosen witwa uwera kwera wahisem but you are called the holy because you belong to god ariko kandi witwa uwera kwera wegukira imana but ariko kandi being called holy kwitwa uwera is one thing ni kimwe but walking in holiness ariko kugendera mukwera is another thing ni kindi kindi that's why we are seeing holy people walking like evil people. They are holy. But what is hard for them it is to walk in holiness. Let's go in the book of First uh, Thessalonians chapter 5 Verse 23. I want you to read in Kirundi, then I will read in English. Abite Saronike Bambere, Igiche Chagatano, Umurongo, Wamirongiviri, Nagatatu. Are you there? Amazabushikayo. Read in Kirundi, please. Unomurongo, Ravugango, Kandimana, Yenamahoro, Ibe Ario, Ibeza Gose, Kandi Imhemu Yanu, Nubugingo, Numubirizios, Hamne, Bizigamne, Govize Visangue, Bitagira Umugayo, Ahumami Wachi, Su Christo, Azozira, Iman Shimacha. Read again. Kandimana, Yenamahoro, the God of peace, Ibe Ario, Ibeza Gose, sanctify you. Stop by there. Yes. Which means. The work of sanctification is not yours. The work of sanctification it is God's. God of peace sanctify you. This is the Bible. We are, we are reading this Bible. May the God of peace sanctify you. Which means this is not your homework to sanctify yourself. It is the work of God to sanctify the holy. Are you getting this? Amen. Now in different churches, they come and they tell you sanctify yourself. It's impossible. Because God is the sanctifier. Uh, Nobody has ever been able to sanctify himself. Only God can sanctify his people. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? So you cannot sanctify yourself. Only God can sanctify you. Are you getting this? But I want to teach you how does God sanctify you. Just in five minutes. I want you to understand how God sanctifies his people. Praise God. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Let me read this in English. Mm. And may God of peace himself sanctify you through and through. Separate you from profound things. Uh-huh. This is too much. 
Read again in this in Kirundi. Kandi imana nye na mahoro, mm. ibe ariyo ibeza rgose. Ibe ari ibeza rgose. Kandi mngemu ya nye nubu gingo numu viri pjose. Mm -hmm. Hamge vizika mge. Thank you. Yes. The Bible is saying, spirit and soul and body. Imgemu umushaha numu viri. Which means, bisigura go. Sanctification. Mm -hmm. Ukwezo has to take three levels. Kutekeza kufata ingezo zitatu. Spirit, imhemo, soul, musaha, and body. No moviri. I want you to follow carefully. Shaka kumu mukuri kiraneza. Because this is the secret of power. Aharero niho ushobo zivuri. When you walk in holiness, you ugende la mukwera, the power of God will start manifesting. Ushobo zivuri mana, uchabu tangura kukwera muri wewe na kukwera. Are you getting this? Yes. Are you getting this? Are you receiving this? When you walk in holiness, every word you speak shall come to pass. When you walk in holiness, every prayer you pray is answered. Why? Because God is holy and he answers holy people. That's why it's very important for you to understand you have to understand how God sanctifies his people. God sanctifies his people in three levels. Number one, spirit. When you receive Jesus Christ, you are sanctified. But not your soul. But your spirit. Praise God. When, when you are born again, and you are baptized, and you receive Jesus Christ as your King and Savior, now your spirit is born again. You are called a new creation. But not your soul. Your spirit is holy. But your, your soul is not holy. When, when we talk about soul, we are talking about the mind. We are talking about the heart of man. Glory be to God. When you receive Jesus Christ, your spirit is holy. Forgiven. Justified. But your soul is unholy. That is why you can see a child of God declaring I'm holy. I'm righteous in Jesus Christ. But in the afternoon, he is in fornication. Why? Of course, his spirit is holy. But his soul is still in need of sanctification. Is still in need of sanctification. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. And here we have even pastors. They are holy in the spirit. But in their souls, they are unholy. Because sanctification is a process. The number one is a spirit. And you have nothing to do. Only God has to sanctify your spirit. And when you receive God, your spirit is sanctified. But your soul is still waiting for sanctification. And you are always judging people. Why is this one in these things? Why this one? He's a singer. He's a protocol in church. He's a pastor. He's an evangelist. Sometimes I see him prophesying. How can he sin? He is holy in the spirit. But the soul 
is still in need of sanctification. Now let me teach you how does God sanctify your soul. Are you ready somebody? Are you getting this? Thank you. I read again this verse. And may the God of peace himself sanctify you separate you from things mm. profound things now for God to sanctify your soul he will sanctify your soul through the Holy Spirit communicating to your spirit oh God help me to communicate this mm. Yes. you know sometimes you, you are teaching but you feel like you have many things to say. But the manner to communicate is very hard. Let me show you something. When God comes to sanctify your soul, He uses His Holy Spirit. Sanctification, I told you, sanctification starts by the Spirit. Uh, but now we are going to sanctify the soul. But how does God sanctify the soul? Because when you are holy, sanctified in the Spirit, uh, but your soul is still not sanctified you can continue sinning even if you are asking for forgiveness you know you will see a young man crying I say Lord forgive me forgive I will not do, never do it again. In the name of Jesus. Now I, for, I forbid it. It will never come back in my life. But after two days, he is in the same things. That person is not a sinner. Because in his spirit, he is holy. That's why when he sins, he cries. Why? He understands that sinning is not his life. But why is he continuously committing sins? It is not because he wanted to sin. Not because he loves sinning. But because his uh, soul is weak to contain the holiness of God. The holiness of God is in his spirit but his soul is weak to carry the holiness. Oh my God. You can be holy in your spirit. How do we come you? How do we know you are holy in your spirit? When you sin, the way you react can prove that you are holy in your spirit or not. Let me tell you something. When a lady commits sin, and then in the time of prayer he is not even crying that one is not holy because the holiness in your spirit will cause you to regret are you getting this? the holiness that is in your spirit will cause you to regret you feel Uchuza. like why did I do this when you are not holy in your spirit you take it easy you feel like ah this is normal 
Everyone is doing this. But when you are holy in your spirit, after committing sin, there is a knowledge in the spirit. You feel like, what is going on? What have I done? Then you start crying. The crying comes from the holiness of your spirit. Okay. Yes. Now, how can you go to another level of not always crying? Sinning and crying. Next week you sin and you cry. Next month you sin and you cry. It means you have holiness in your spirit. But your soul is weak to carry that holiness. Glory be to God. Hallelujah. How can your soul be strong enough? To manifest the holiness that is in your spirit. I think I'm not communicating. A child of God has holiness. That's why he knows what is bad and good. And when you do bad, in your spirit, you feel bad. You feel it. This thing I have done is not my life. Are you getting this? But the reason why you can recognize what you have done wrong is because in your spirit you are holy. But the question is how can I, I push that holiness? The holiness that is in my spirit and comes to be manifested even in my soul and my body. Not always crying. Oh Lord, forgive me. Then you are forgiven. And then after two weeks, masturbation again. Lord, forgive me. You are asking for forgiveness because you are holy in your spirit. But you want the holiness to be manifested. How? This is the secret. That's not your work. It is the work of God to sanctify now your soul through the Holy Spirit. And now your work is to obey the Holy Spirit. Oh, my God. Hmm. The Bible says in the book of Ephesians chapter 4, Four. Chapter four. Verse thirty. 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 Not thirteen. Thirty. The Bible says, "Don't grieve the Holy Spirit." Are you hearing this? Yes. Are you getting this? Oh my goodness! Are you getting this? When God wants to sanctify your soul, He uses the Holy Spirit. And now the Holy Spirit will start communicating to you what He is not telling others. If the Holy Spirit will forbid you what He is not forbidding others. For others, it's not a sin. But for you, it's a sin. Why? God wants you to be to another level. And now the Holy Spirit will start communicating to you. Are 
Papa, thank you for coming. <laughs> Papa, pesa kuuza. Thank you for coming. Mm. Let me break this. Let me give an example. I want you to understand this. The sanctification of the soul is not for your work. His work through the Holy Spirit. Your work, your work is to obey everything that the Holy Spirit is telling you within the inside because the Holy Spirit speaks within the inside and when he speaks to you and you start obeying now your soul is sanctified let me give you an example can I tell you something for example, dressing a short skirt. Sorry? Dressing a short skirt mm -hmm. is not seen because it's not written in the Bible. Are you hearing this? But when God starts sanctifying you, the Holy Spirit will speak through your spirit and the Holy Spirit will tell you from today never wear a short skirt it is the voice of the inside not someone's preaching to you the voice of the inside is speaking to your heart change this so when you don't change, now you are grieving the Holy Spirit. And when you grieve Him, your soul will not be sanctified. Because He will not come back to speak to you again. Are you getting this? I think to today I'm teaching something strong today. Kissing, kissing, kusomana <laughs> is not a sin. Sicha, because it's not in the Bible. Where ako nipzandi se muri bibiria. When you check the Bible, you see rangwe bibiria. Abraham kissed his son. Hey, Abraham mu ibzara bikozi. He kissed his son. Bisho wadu rukonye na bivuze nuti nyakubi puk. Abraham ya mbuhungu wiyuri. Yes, Abraham Even Jacob. Nayakobo. So kissing is not a sin. I'm saying this is sin, this one. Okay? Come on, somebody. I'm saying this one. Not this one, okay? Praise God. Yes. Amen. Greeting somebody. And do like this. This is not a sin. But for holy people, when God starts sanctifying you, the Holy Spirit will talk to you. Don't kiss everyone. Praise God. It is not a pastor. Not an apostle. Not from a prophet. The voice of the inside. Are you getting this? Do you know sometime? There are some things that are not sins. But God will forbid you. And now you know that God is sanctifying you now. When you start obeying that inner voice, now you are obeying the Spirit of God. And when you obey the Holy Spirit, suddenly, 
the holiness that is in your spirit will start manifesting in your diary workings are you getting this? are you getting this? yes you go and you buy this cloth when you want to wear it and the Holy Spirit will tell you don't wear this one this one will give it to that person why that one not you because the Holy Spirit is sanctifying your soul going to the salon and the trace here there is no sin but sometimes you go to the salon and they are about to shave you. Sorry? They are about to shave you. The spirit will communicate through the inner voice and forbid you something. But when you check in the Bible, it's not a sin. It's becoming a sin to you. Because the Holy Spirit is sanctifying you. Are you getting this? Clap your hands for Jesus. So sanctification. It is the work of God. Through the Holy Spirit. To your soul. Glory be to God. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Are you getting this? So your, what is your work? To obey the Holy Spirit. When the Holy Spirit tells you, don't put the rings to your ears. Stop it. Don't say, but in our church, it's not a sin. Even Mama Pastor has it. The Holy Spirit is, is sanctifying you, not Mama Pastor. It's sanctifying you. You find somebody coming. The Holy Spirit is telling you to wear a long skirt. Then you say about the worshippers. Sometimes they bring the short one. Why me? You because the Holy Spirit is sanctifying you. Because you have to understand this. Even those people you are seeing. Maybe they have not obeyed the Spirit of God. But the Holy Spirit has already spoken to them. So you don't have to be like them. You have to be different. Obey the inner voice that is speaking to you. That is sanctification. Some people think sanctification is going to the pastor, a priest, and say, forgive me, pray for me, and confess your sins. No! Sanctification it is to obey the voice of the inner. When the Holy Spirit forbid you something and you continue doing it that's no sanctification you are holy in your spirit but unholy in your soul and that's why you will continue sinning you know, everybody who go in fornication 
they don't obey the voice of the inside. Because always the Holy Spirit will tell you to stop. You, you keep on forcing. The Holy Spirit will tell you not to go. Then you go. The Holy Spirit will tell you not to talk to that man. But you insist talking. The Holy Spirit will stop you from going to greet that boy. But you insist going. When you grieve the Holy Spirit, He will stop talking to you. Then He will continue sinning. Holiness is in your spirit. But God sanctifies your soul through the Holy Spirit to your soul. Your work is the obedience. This is very hard. Because the Holy Spirit will forbid you what others are doing. It's a load to everyone. But not to you. Sometime. When God is sanctifying you. The Holy Spirit will tell you to. Uh, get out of your group of people. Sometimes God, the Holy Spirit will tell you to block someone. The Holy Spirit will tell you to leave that group. When you stay there, you are grieving the Holy Spirit. Are you getting this? Are you getting this? Are you getting this? God Imana sanctifies your soul. Imana nioyeza umushawa. Glory be to God. Man have the true here. But now, Urero, let me show you what is consecration now. Reka nda bereke icho aricho ukwishikan. Lift up your hands. Say, Holy Spirit. Help me to understand. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hey, this is too much. Consecration. Uh, it is the part of God. No, no. Sanctification is the part of God. Uh, Sanctification. Uh, it is the work of God. What yeah. you have to do is to obey. But consecration is now your work. Let me teach you. Sanctification or holiness, we saw that it is God choosing you. But consecration, you don't wait for God to choose you. You choose yourself. In holiness, God separate you from something. But consecration you are the one who separate yourself for God. Yes. I have to teach you someone. Mukwera Mukwera Imani Razigahi Goyo Tora 
ariko mu kwitandukanya umuntu ava mu kivunga kugira imana ni yahigu uyotora imusangiyo Are you now getting this? In holiness, God Himself comes to select. But in consecration, you alone, you select yourself to walk in holiness that God may use you. Praise God. This is very deep. Yes. Let me break it. Let's go to second book of Timothy. Verse 2, verse 20. Chapter 2, verse 20. Mm. Um. Holiness, it is the decision of God. But sanctification, consecration, it is your choice. Ukwera namahita mo yiman. Ariko ukwita ndukanya konsekrasyo ni, ni wewe njene na mahitamo yao ni decision Ha hande uhitamo kugendu kutandu kanyinu kwa bandi wali kwa nagenda Apana kuwela kuwa bikuiji shiji mm. Ok Second Timothy chapter 2 verse 20 Haravuga ngo mm. Mwuzu nini yu mutunzi mm. Ni haba mwimbombo vu zipziachu zwe mngisa havu mm. No mngifeza kusa mm -hmm. Ariko haba mngo ni ziviti Mm. ni zipi buhumba mm. kandi bimwe babikoresha ibyicubahiro mm. ibindi babikoresha ibiteison thank you mm. in the house of a great man munzu mm. mutunzi there are two vessels hari ibintu bibiri by types of vessels ibikoresha ibikoresho bibiri and some bimwe are called vessels of honor and some are called vessels of dishonor. So all are called vessels. And they are in, the, in one house. But for two reasons. One is a vessel of honor. Another is a vessel of dishonor. But both of them are called vessels. Every Christian is holy. Because God has chosen them. But some are the vessels of honor, others, abandi, they are holy, barera, they are vessels, ni koresho, but of dishonor. It's not your choice to be called a vessel it is the choice of God but it is your choice to be a, a, a vessel of honor or dishonor you are a vessel it's not your choice but your choice is to be a vessel of honor or of dishonor we can have two prophets or prophesying but all they are called vessels but in the private light one is a vessel of honor another one a vessel of dishonor and for you to be called a vessel of honor it's not the choice of God. It is your choice. The choice of God it is to make you a vessel. Because everyone is a vessel. But not everyone is a vessel of honor. Some are vessels of honor. Others are vessels of dishonor. By their choice. Uh, by their choice not the choice of God 
Apana mahita mo iman. Consecration. Ukutano uh, kana. Now consecration. Ukutano kanya. Means what? Bisiguriki. I know I'm a vessel. Ndavi izi ndi ikikoresh. But what kind of vessel do I have to be? Ni ubu hepko kopi ikikoresh. Nikiro zakuba. Of course I'm a vessel. Zukuri ndi ikikoresh. Because God has chosen me. Kubira ko imana era misemo. But what kind of vessel do I want to be? Ariko ni ubu hepko kopi ikikoresh. Jewin shaka kuba. Of honor or of dishonor. Ni chume ro changi kibi teisoni. It is your choice. Ni amahita mo ya we. Now you start. Ogurero chuta angura. Consecrating yourself. Kuita ndu kanya we ubga we. For being a vessel of honor. Kugira ngo ube igikore shuti chuba hiro. Now let me teach you something. Ogure reka atwigi shikeno. In this time of consecration. Muri ubu ubgo ko ubgo kuita ndu kanya. Muri kino gishe. Muri kino gishe chokuita ndu kanya. You don't need a pastor to teach you. You don't need someone to stop you do, for doing something. You don't need somebody to tell you this is a sin. You don't need somebody to tell you this is a sin. And you don't even wait for the Holy Spirit to tell you that this is a sin, this is not a sin. Yourself, you decide to not do this, not do this. Because you want to become someone of honor in the sight of God. Hallelujah. Touch the keyboard. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know, when you wait for me to preach to you about what to do or not do. You are still in the process of sanctification. But in the consecration, even if I forget to forbid you something, you forbid yourself. Why? You are in consecration now. In sanctification, you wait, you wait for us to tell you to come early to pray. In sanctification, you wait for us to tell you to come here. But in consecration, now you know it's a forbidden to be late at church. In sanctification, we push you. In consecration, you push yourself. In sanctification, we tell you to pray. In consecration, you decide yourself to be prayerful. I think, I think they are not getting this. Consecration, it is ni to now seeing yourself as Jesus. What Jesus can do, it you can't do it. What Jesus can say, you can't say. Where Jesus can't go, you can't go. That is consecration. You put yourself apart. I am not like them. I am not like everyone. I am like Jesus. I walk like Jesus. I speak like Jesus. I look like Jesus. I respond like Jesus. That's consecration. That is consecration. You see yourself as a sacrifice. Before God. 
When you wake up in the morning, you lift up your hands and say, Lord, I'm a sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. I'm a sacrifice. Use me in whatever you want. I don't want to lead myself. I don't want to say when you are not saying. I don't want to respond when you are not responding. I don't want to walk when you are not walking. When you want me to stay in the house, I will stay here. If you say to go out, I will go out. If you tell me to leave the job, I will leave it. Whatever you tell me, I will obey. Consecration. You don't wait for somebody to tell you something. You give yourself as a sacrifice before God. That's why Paul wrote in the book of Romans chapter 12 verse 1 the Bible says now brethren present yourself yes. present yourself as a sacrifice a living sacrifice not dead let me tell you something. Follow me carefully. I want you to follow. Because I'm feeling the anointing is flowing. Because when you walk in holiness, you gain that mukpera. Consecrated. That's the key of the power of God. No pastor who is not consecrated can heal the sick. There is separation. There is what you give up. In consecration, sometimes what brings joy to others. What brings joy is sin to you. That's in consecration. Do you know in consecration? Sometimes you don't you are not even allowed to go in the weddings of somebody. Sorry. Sometimes you are not even allowed to go in some weddings. In consecration. In the weddings of your families. Now the Holy Spirit will tell you to close the door and pray. It is time to go in the wedding. But in consecration, you close the door and you start praying. You are separated to others. Separated from others. Now Paul says, I beseech you, brothers, to present yourself as a living sacrifice. Why living, not dead? A dead sacrifice, a dead sacrifice, cannot bring itself to the altar. A dead sacrifice will need someone to carry it and put it on the altar. In the Old Testament, they could carry a sacrifice and put it on the altar and kill it. But in the New Testament, in consecration, a sacrifice which is you, you need to take yourself to the altar and you kill yourself. 
You don't need someone to kill you. You take yourself to the altar. Then you kill yourself. Then say, Lord, I am yours. I belong to you. I'm no longer my own. Everything I do, it is for your glory. You kill yourself. Hallelujah. You kill yourself. You don't, need, you don't need someone to put you to the altar. They push you to pray. They push you to worship. They push you to, to set an alarm and wake up to pray. In consecration, you yourself, you are now a sacrifice. Then you take yourself to the altar. Then you kill yourself. What does it mean to kill yourself? It means you are not living for your own. You are living for the one who died for you. Can I read one verse? Let, let me read one verse. In the book of Psalms. And this is the last verse I'm going to finish. In the book of Psalms, chapter 118. Psalms 118, verse 27. Psalms 118, verse 27. Read in Kirundi, please. Zaburi, Gishachi Janachimino Munani, Kumurongo, Mirongi Viri, Nindui. Uhora Honiwe Mana, Kandi, Yaduhai Umucho, Bukebuk. The Lord is our God. Uhora Honiwe Man. And He has given us the light. Kandi, Yaduhai Umucho. Continue reading. Kandi, Yaduhai Umucho, Muboheshe eh, Ikimazi Imigosi. Wait. wait. If you don't catch this one, you are losing. The Lord is God. Who is the Lord? The Lord is the Lord. 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 This is what God is asking. Muboheshe ikimazi imigozi. Bind a sacrifice. Mukijane kuma be yigichane. And take it to the horns of the altar. Oh God. Remember. Mibuke. You are now a sacrifice. Uburero uri ikimazi. But. Ariko. God. Imana doesn't want you to the altar imana nigushaka bwicaniro without bound utaboshi the bible says biblia ivuzengo bind a sacrifice wohe ikimazi to the horns of the altar kumahembe igicaniro before you bring a sacrifice, bind it so that it cannot run. Sorry, so that? It cannot run. Let me tell you something. I'm, I'm about to finish. The reason why Christians are failing to consecrate themselves they know they are a sacrifice they forget to bind themselves because you can't be a sacrifice and be presented to the altar when you are not bound when the fire comes, you will run. Mm, mm, mm. 
Because a, a sacrifice must be consumed by the fire of God. A sacrifice must be consumed by the fire of God. So when you are not bound, you will run. You can't be called a consecrated when you are not consumed by the fire. And the fire cannot consume a sacrifice when the sacrifice is free. It has to be bound. Let me break this down. Lift up your hands. Just pray one minute. Father, in the name of Jesus. You do. Orokosha atele mante rekos kataraba urashwa gusenga uzamuri vigao karondo so paradiga shilatros fela antola mandeli kaparanana zileko paranta madlizo okonta e papa si katopela dana zintoma kandusa ale paradagaba likonta agrunda anina suka adea. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Amen. Now look at this. Rabagun. Touch the keyboard, son. Oh. You are all that matters. Oh, eh, oh, eh. You are all that matters. Oh, eh, oh, eh. You are all that matters. Oh, eh, oh, eh. You are all a sacrifice that has to be presented to the altar when it is bound for you to be called a sacrifice a consecrated you don't need someone to bind you you need to bind yourself because when somebody binds you it means somebody has offered you not yourself offering yourself and for you to be called a sacrifice you have to, to present yourself bound to the altar. How to bind yourself? This is the finish. The How to bind yourself? How can you bind yourself as a sacrifice? How can you bind yourself and present yourself to the altar? How can you bind? Because the Bible is asking you to bind yourself before you present yourself as a sacrifice. You have to bind yourself. So the question is how can I Bind myself. You are all that matters. Oh, eh, oh, eh. You are all that matters. Binding yourself. It means planting limitations and barriers for yourself. Gushinga uburimbi. Kushinga uburimbi. Child. Umana. Everyone is a child of God. But not, not everyone is a son of God. Arikosi bose ari. Sorry. 
Everyone is a child of God. But not everyone is a son of God. Tu peux être appelé un enfant de Dieu. Mais c'est une autre chose d'être appelé un fils de Dieu. Quand un enfant de Dieu a la vie de Dieu, mais un fils de Dieu, maintenant il a l'image de Dieu. Si tu le regardes, tu vas exactement voir l'image de son père. Et un enfant de Dieu, il a seulement la vie de Dieu. Mais le le fils de Dieu n'a pas seulement la vie de Dieu, il a aussi l'image et le semblance de son père. Tu dois être semblable à ton père. Alléluia. Then you know that this one is a son of God. Cette fois-ci, par mon va mon vougo à Kavka to Yaninak, par mon va mon mounambuko, par mon amouni fatona, what we call the likeness of God. The way of consecration, the way number two, in Zira Yakaviri, it is now to no longer be a child of God. Si Ukubanda ya Uba Umana Wiman, to become a son of God. Ne Uk. Be as the image of God. When you see him, you are seeing God. When you hear him responding, you listen to a certain mother advising. Then you feel like you are hearing God. Why? Now she be as the image of the Father. Consecration. The last way of consecration. In zira ya nyuma yuko itando kanya. Consecration can come by the oppressions of life. Biche muma oppression. Funda changu kugumiwa kubozima. Kura shora gutuma itando kanya. Kura zana consecration. The oppressions of life can bring consecration. Mifunda mubozima changu yaza shaka gutuma uchiku muni itando kanya. Sometime. You will need the Holy Spirit to tell you something. Sometimes you wait for a pastor. Sometimes you decide by yourself. But when consecration comes by the operations of life, now it is the life that tells you what to do what does it mean you look at yourself the way you are getting old and nothing is moving then life will tell you to consecrate I don't know if somebody is getting this why i have to do something if not i'm dying are you getting this? The oppressions of life will tell you what to do. The way you are losing. The way you don't get money. The way you are struggling. This can tell you something that you need to be consecrated. While others are rejoicing, while others, you are praying because your life does not allow you to be uh, everywhere. Let me break this thing in Kirundi for you mm. to understand. Yes. 
bakakubwira guterama bakama bagusohokana bakakubwira muje kurya mukajya bahera wufise kandi bo bafise amazu bazigiwe na base na kubwo kutihweza ubuzima bayeho bigatuma unanigwa no kwitandukanya consecration niko muranyumva umwanya ujya mu ntagutwara kuri whatsapp mbega muranganya ubuzima are you getting this are you getting this uyu muntu arikara gusamaza muranganya ubuzima muranganya imibereho uyu mwanya gutwara mbega we wahomva iki kuko ari umuntu agutwara umwanya we wivyiwe vyarakemutse wewe gwa ubikiri mu nzira na ukwitandukanya bisobanura iki hano consecration izanwa no kwiweza urugezo ugeze ko mukubaho hano uvuga ati no ndavyi urugezo ngeze ko sinari nkwiye kuja guteramana nabandi ngo ntahe sambirize i don't know somebody is getting this i don't know somebody is getting this ariko bazakira abaduzi bigaza bya just come we share jesus abo tunganye imyaka bageze mbega aho bageze niho ngeze eske nkwiye kubaho nkabo uyu mwanya ndawukoresha nkuko bawukoresha praise god hallelujah si bose bari ko barasoma ibitabo mugabo si bose muri ko muraja hamwe consecration va hey ngira soma ibitabo kubera aho jewe ngeze siho nategerezwa kuba ngeze praise god praise god praise god hallelujah ini kron consecration zanwa no observe ubuzima hugeze Baba muri mwebwe ndababwije ukuri muri afite nata mutari abago afite nata muri afye yo mwavuye mutari mukwiye gusubiranya Uravye wakomotse nahuvuye ingene wajya bigoranye ukacubandanya ufite nata nkuko abandi babigeze ko bafite nata You need the consecration Consecration zina na he mukura bavye buzima abandi bose bari ko barahindura look bari ko baraba muri saro ukamenya tahango mashiri ko ikintu kizo mara meza tatu kweri ntego ofise ni consecration harabantu banyumvise harabantu banyumvise no harabantu banyumvise yego bamwe bagategura ama picnic na masoroti bakagira cotisation mwa mugira ama cotisation ma group atandukaje kumba ari ama cotisation mamukwiye kwihoza kugira mwanze mupambane no buzima atari cotisation yo kuba yo kuheza gira imana atari cotisation yo guheza gira uwundi muntu ama cotisation muje ama mwamwe tugiye kujya ha tuzokwamba ruko ari ibintu kuye kureka ukishira mikrofoni yatangwe kugorana Jesus. Nimande ukaba muri chambre na saro ukangira abashitsi buzaho kuramutsa kugeza umunsi wageze ku ntego yawo sesa siko na per consecration ifatiye ku buzi muri kurababa kwitandukanya nabandi praise god hallelujah si modele zose zije ucushonesha nabagore harije we consacre ukishira ku ruhande akavuga ati ngomba nihi imyaka 3 nambara ibibaya baje mugabe nyuma y'imyaka 5 nzo bamfise kino nina kigera ko rero bazo cyabona babona ko ndo mwami kazi set for us praise god hallelujah praise god hallelujah praise the lord hallelujah abantu nibo babosha ngingene yifata ngo ntiyifata nk'umuntu yaronse ingene yifata ni yifata nk'umuntu abifise what is that consecration ni kwishira ku ruhande ugakurikira iri kuraje mu gishingo cyo kumbiriza abantu bari kwaravuga Stand up in the name of Jesus. I hope everyone who understood this word of God. Today. You have to start consecrating yourself. You are not your own. You belong to God. 
please I'm advising young people here ariko arahanura umuntu ngaha young people gwaruka stop sinning hagarika gucumura stop sinning in private hagarika gukora ivyaha mu mpisho mwibanga you have holiness in your spirit urafise ukwera mu mwemo yawe but it's time to manifest the holiness in your soul ariko nico gihe aho ukwera kuri mu mwemo yawe kugaragara mu mushaho by listening and obeying to the voice of the holy spirit mukumviriza no mukubaha ijwi rya mwemo yera start stopping what others are enjoying hagarika gukora ivy'abandi bari kwara nezerwamo sometimes you have to stop what others are enjoying if you are in a relationship but the relationship is stealing your holiness leave it and wait for God God will bring another one don't lose your holiness because of loving someone that's not, that's not a love that's not a love you are losing your holiness because of loving someone that's not that's not fair you have to stand up for your holiness Fight for it. Keep it. Avoid something. For the glory of the Lord. Lift up your hands. Bless the name of God. Thank Him for the word of the day. Thank you, Jesus. Thank Him. Receive forgiveness where you committed something wrong. After forgiveness, after forgiveness, receive strength from God. Ask the Holy Spirit to sanctify your soul. Maybe a long time ago, you grieved the Holy Spirit. And the Holy Spirit has stopped now speaking to you. Before the Holy Spirit used to talk to you everything. But, but because you didn't obey, the Holy Spirit was grieved. And now he stopped speaking to you. No more dream from God. No more dreams from God. But this is the time that the Holy Spirit will start sanctifying you now. Receive his forgiveness and then ask him to sanctify you. Ask him to talk to you now again. I want to hear somebody praying right now. I want to hear somebody praying now. This is your time alone with God. Mm. Present yourself as a sacrifice. This is your time to bind yourself. We read in the Bible that before you present yourself as a living sacrifice, 